It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brew York and it's a can of their time travelling taxi. It's a double dry hopped pale ale coming in at 5.7% ABV. There's a look at the can wrap. Looks really good. 440 can. Without further ado, let's get the can out into a glass. See what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. Oh, I've looked forward to this all day long. We're still building the bar out in the conservatory. Uh, I sanded the bar up today. Uh, we bought a nice piece of cipri, I think it's called, the, the timber, big piece of um, oak, big piece of hardwood, sanded it down varnished it up this afternoon I hoovered it first to get all the dust off give it a couple of coats of varnish and I'm ready for a beer tonight so beer in the glass we got a two finger white head good levels of carbonation hazy straw coloured beer let's get the aroma oh that smells really good double dry hop pale ale I, for me, beer is, it's the ultimate reward. There was times when I was sanding up this piece of timber today by hand. I had a rough piece of sandpaper, sanded it up by hand. There was times when I just wanted to go, ah, blow this. We'll stop, we'll do, we'll do something else and come back to it. But I carried on and I carried on in the knowledge that in the evening I was going to have a beer. It's the ultimate reward, the ultimate reward. And it smells terrific, it really is. When you open a can of beer and it smells like this, the aroma is so pungent and tropical and rewarding. For me, beer is a big cog, a big cog in my life. It kind of, it, it, it goes around nicely and it, and it just keeps the other cogs ticking along, you know? <laughs> so what am I getting? A, a little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of pineapple. Some grapefruit, yeah, more grapefruit. A touch of mango. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. <sighs> fabulous, fabulous beer, Stone the Crows. Put it in the fridge about half past five. Made my beer choice tonight about half past five. It's ten to eight. It's had a bit of time to chill the beer. It's not stone cold, but a bit of time to get it down to temperature. The drinkability on the beer is absolutely ter terrific. It's drinking really well, really refreshing and really kind of pungent with them flavours. There's a little bit of sweetness from the malt and then it just it just rolls into that tropical cascade of flavors passion fruit mango grapefruit orange peel fleshy blood orange touch of bitterness on the back end nice touch of bitterness Helps to balance off that sweetness. Really tropical. I imagine they put oats in the beer, a little bit of oats. You can you can taste that slightly kind of creamy mouthfeel. It makes the beer just ever so drinkable. Just ever.
never so drinkable. It really kind of just makes them smashable. And then they're, they're so popular now. These 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 beers, these these New England IPAs as they call them, or the double dry hop pale ale as Brew York have decided to call them, or call it. It's almost it's almost like it's going. I wouldn't go as far as saying viral, but there's a lot of interest in it. There's an awful lot of interest. I, I released a New England IPA video this morning, and it shot out the gates. So it's it's like the the viewer the viewership on it was absolutely mesmerised, and I thought, wow, this is like I wasn't expecting it. I expect good viewing figures, but these were superb, and it's because it's a New England IPA. Because it's a uh, a really popular, fantastic style, and the reason why the reason why I'm mentioning it, the reason why it's a, a popular, fantastic style is just down to the drinkability and the flavours. It really is all all kind of. You don't have to be a beer connoisseur to to drink and enjoy a New England IPA or a double dry hop pale ale in this case. What the Brew York say about it? Anyone experiencing the time jumping taxi that arrives a minute after the map indicated it to be 10 minutes away, usually after ordering a beer? Or maybe you recall the time distorting taxi that started two minutes away yet doesn't arrive for 20 minutes? Maybe it was better when our taxis were always just around the corner. <laughs> yeah, we're just around the corner. It looks like an uh, electric taxi as well. They call it Nuba. <laughs> cool. I like that. I like that. Really enjoy that. I'm going to rate it. Brew York, fantastic brewery. Uh, up there in York, of course, in the UK. I've, I've always had really good beers from Brew York. They seem to be a brewery that keep on up in their game. They keep on improving. They keep on getting better. They've... I mean, the last time I had the beers, they were in 330 cans. They've made the jump in the last few months. I've had Juice Forsyth. Um, I've got a Juice Willis to do. And I've got... I've just reviewed this. But these are 440 cans. They've made the jump up to a 440 milliliter can. But what a fantastic beer. Smells good. Looks good. Tastes wonderful. Rating for me. That's a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.